Hi, welcome to GRI. I'm Lish, and in this episode, we're going to be looking at how to fix dripping taps. Now, this is the normal faucet um, headgear type of tap. If you've got a mixer tap, you'll need another solution. Now, in terms of energy saving, um, if you're just fixing the cold water tap, obviously it's just a water saving deal. But um, if you're fixing the hot water tap, that's when you really save energy because if that tap is dripping hot water the whole time, then you're really going to be just wasting money down the sink. So what you'll need are flat nose screwdriver, adjustable spanner, key. Now this is only if you've got a vandal proof tap head. Uh, if you've just got a normal one which has a little cap on it, hot and cold, you can just take those off. But these ones require a special key. This is the key to being able to get these babies off. If you don't have it, and you don't have a vandal handy, it's bad. Uh, and the washer, because most likely the tap is dripping because its washer is worn out. Um, so these are really good. Get a good quality one so you don't have to do the job uh, in a couple of months time. And wool scouring pad, just a cloth if you need it. And the plug. Now the first thing you've got to do is go and turn off the water. Generally it's out of the mains unless you live in a flat or an apartment and it will be somewhere in the house. So let's go. A bit like Harry Butler, find your water meter um, and just basically turn it off. If it's really hard, get some mechanical advantage with a um, adjustable spanner and just Done. That's off. Now the first thing you want to do is put the plug in the uh, sink because the last thing you want to be doing is uh, having to get some little part out of the S bin. Now get all the water out of the yeah, and it's good to turn them right on. Take a key, and if it's a vandal-proof tap like this one, you'll find a little slot underneath the tap. Put the key into that slot and then turn it anti-clockwise. Just keep on loosening it out. Oh, there we go. It's just come off. Then the tap head just comes off. And there's a little thing in there. Take that off. Keep them all in a nice spot to the side. Then remove the bonnet to reveal the grime and the workings of the tap. Um, this is called the spindle and under there is where we'll need to uh, replace the washer. Let's go. Um, this is where we need our adjustable spanner, what I call the buxom wrench. And everyone needs a buxom wrench in their life. Now we just put that on and then we want to unscrew that. Now they can be quite stiff. Just go. <coughs> I find changing your facial expressions quite handy in that. Now, we're just going to unscrew it, and underneath reveals the spindle, tap bits, and the washer, the dodgy washer. It's just run its time. There's no way that, that thing is going to seal. Basically what happens is when you screw the tap down, that pushes down inside the tap and causes a seal if it's all corroded away or um, rotted away, it's no good anymore. Um, so you just need your new washer, which you're going to pop in there and start again. But before you put your new washer in, just check the tap seat. That's just underneath here in the tap. Um, have a little feel. It should feel nice and smooth. If it doesn't, if it feels like there's little ruts and um, jaggedy edges, that will be causing your tap to drip just as likely as a dodgy washer. So you'll need another solution for that. Watch the DIY video on how to reseat a tap. Yeah. <laughs> um, but you'll know if that's the problem if when you fixed it with your washer, it still drips. So pop your washer in, then just go backwards. And then just... Always remember to tie it. Righty tighty. Mm. That feels pretty.
pretty good. Then I'm just gonna screw the on at that one. Then put, a, put it all back together. And just slot into place. There we go, all done. Screw the tap down. Go and turn on the water and check your hand you work. Okay, so we test. Oh, not a drip. Probably half an hour DIY project and it's done. Now if you are still with a bit of a drip, um, tap wise, um, you will have to do a reseating of down here. Now that means that you'll have to get this reseating tool and watch the GIY episode on how to do it. But if it's dripless, then job well done. Thanks for watching this GIY episode. There is more shopping lists, more projects online, um, fact sheets, check it out and pass on the word. <laughs>